Hey there, folks and friends. Connecting Dots here. Wednesday, October 1st, 2014. Just rolled out of bed having my first coffee. I decided to come out to YouTube and have a look at uh, the comments because yesterday's video, and if you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave a link down below. But basically, um, I, make, I made this video because I'm asking you to help me with the three petitions. No one's jumped in yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and write the three petitions. But at least you can go watch the video at this point and see what's going on. I, I talk about what's taking place with Jeff, the state of his health. And I also get into the AdSense, uh, the next 911 Ebola scare. Um, you'll see here how many of these characters that I've been calling out, it's all about fear. It's all about AdSense. It's about making money, disinformation, misinformation. They're not going to tell you the truth. I will be the only gentleman on YouTube, as far as I know, if you have anyone else that, that's come up with this, I'm the only gentleman on YouTube who makes videos telling you all that uh, they've known about the cure for Ebola since the 1980s. The CIA microbiologist said it on national television. So I've launched a series of challenges this summer uh, to uh, these YouTubers that are telling you all it's the end of the world. Ebola bullshit. So go watch the video. I connect the dots again. So it's very easy to see who's all part of the fear-mongering club. And, uh, you know, I, I'll say this again. I know many of you don't um, take this very seriously, but uh, a real hardcore truther, and I'm not talking about uh, those of you that come out here and leave comments. I'm talking about uh, those of us that make a lot of videos with the, about the conspiracy. Uh, we will never have a Google Plus account. And if you're one of those people, well, no, 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 I'm a real truther, well, then get rid of your Google Plus account. Because it's one of the things us real hardcore truthers know. Um, it all came about, I think it was in 2005, 2006, we had two ex-Google employees. They both quit Google. They went out and wrote a script for a movie, and it was how Google was going to control the world by the year 2013, I think it was. And actually, a, a few months later, or six months later, they changed the title of the movie to Google would control the world by the year 2014. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Many of us that are in con conspiracy world that know Google is behind this. It, it is your new world order. Your Bitcoin is your digital currency. We're not going to put up with it. So it's up to you to connect the dots and stay informed of what's going on. And th I got to thank Claire. She's come out again. Not only I want to thank her for uh, for the great compliment. Thank you, and everyone else that says great things. Thank you. You realize it's not for me. It's for Jeff, and it's also for the anti-nuclear movement. These douchebags, and I hate to use that term because that's all they are in my eyes, for them to take a real movement and trash the bejesus out of it and throw all kinds of false uh, information out there and then try to soak up money from people that have their hearts in the right place is really where I draw the line. I'm like, the hell with this. And because I just so happen to be making all these videos on this Fukushima event since day one, I'll be damned if I'm going to allow this scam to go through. So they're right back up to the same old tricks as they were back when I was uh, calling the price of gold and silver. And, you know, I mentioned many times in 2008, I predicted the, the, the world's largest stock market crash uh, the exact date six months earlier. In fact, I called my mother the day before, begging her one last time because she held so much wealth in the stock. I said, Mom, please, get your money out of there. You can't go back to work. You're too old. You need to save this money. They're going to crash it. She didn't listen to me. The, line. the next day, she lost $127,000. It's sad here. So, and, and you know, here's the thing, she's a typical um, sheep, she sticks her head right back in the sand. She doesn't want to hear about it. So I know there's a lot of you that want to know this stuff. So I'm warning you right now, this is not me. I will never have a Google Plus account. You'll never see me leaving any comments. And if they are, they're extremely old videos before the Google Plus accounts came into. I was able to leave comments back in the day under connecting dots too. Nothing new here. They did the exact thing, same thing when I was doing the gold and silver. They opened up a connecting dots four or five. I can't remember which one it was exactly. I think it was five. And he went around on all these different uh, uh, precious metals places and, and stacker forums and websites and went and posted comments under, you know, pretending it was me and how I was predicting uh, silver to go up to $500 an ounce when I was actually telling them it's going down. But so this is the game they're up to. And she went and found out that this guy, well, it's uh, it's not me. It's actually Thanos the Titan. So, folks, I hope you follow Claire's uh, cue here. Uh, when you see somebody pretending it's me or not, um, don't buy into the bullshit. Okay, it's the same thing with this Brente Young guy. He's harassing me now. I had to delete him. You know, and I, actually, I want to touch on something here. Um, in the comments section, because this is he's continuing on here. As you can see, he's 
There's more stuff that he's posting on other uh, videos. But what's important is that you know that this is the game they're, they're up to, and they're out to basically sabotage my reputation. This is why I've been uh, sticking with the Miss Milky the Clown, Stacy Lane 74, Missing Sky 101. If these people are going to come out and pretend that they're the actual truthers, then they better they better act like real truthers instead of lying and trashing my name. So I'll continue exposing these liars because you need to know what's going on, okay? It's not the, the, the funds I'm asking it has nothing to do with the family. It's actually about buying a gamma spectrometer. So um, they're busted. Claire's on to them. Thanks, Claire. Now, I want to touch another thing because here's the other little piece of crap that's out here and I can't seem to get rid of him, this John Townshed. So he's going around telling people that I was fear-mongering and a liar and watch my CD to Yellowstone Super Volcano. Yeah, please go and watch it because you'll find out he's absolutely lying. Not only am I not saying that it's going to blow up, I'm telling you to be careful. Watch it. Keep an eye on it. What's wrong with that? Nothing. And then they go talk about my earthquake video. Yeah, I talk about some real data, some real information that, that's been pieced together since the 1980s, and it talks about the moon cycles. And on certain dates, you're supposed to watch out that there's a chance that these deadly earthquakes occur on those deadly dates. It's not about fear-mongering. It's about informing people. But he's not going to tell you that. He's going to twist everything I do and flip it around. We saw this with Kevin D. Blanche telling people that I was... Um, I tell them to jump into silver at 43 and $45 an ounce. Absolute lie. Lie, lie, lie. So Tom's, Tom here, John, I should say, Townshed has jumped on the exact same bullshit and he's telling you all that I, what? I use so-called experts, Wood Holes and Jay Cullen. People, anyone, anyone who's watched my videos knows that I've actually got videos on Woods Hole Institute calling them a big scam artist. I've talked about Jay Cullen in the past. I've talked about how University of Victoria is actually censoring the truth from people in this town. Uh, yeah, there are law information sessions. I hit them up. They're a bunch of liars. So I'm not going to deal with these people, but I want you to know who they are, and that's extremely important because they're going to go around here probably getting other identities, pretending they're me, but I want you to know they're not. Okay? Okay, folks, now, as far as this video, I'll leave a link down below again for the proof of the Fukushima Kevin D. Blanche investment fraud. So not only do we get to see how um, Jeff Palco went into debt for $16,000 to buy the boat, okay, that's on this video, you also get to see the first round of information here, because I'm going to be getting more information from the family. It's just because there's a medical issue right now, so they're they got to deal with that right now. So basically, I got the first round of information, and you get to see how Kevin D. Blanche, the first checks, one of the first ones was $6,000. You get to read the email right from Jeff Palco himself, wondering what's happening to the 18500 amount sent for the investment fund. So uh, according to uh, Kevin D. Blanche, he's made, um, this is what he's saying here, he's the great financial whiz here. He's had millions. He said he's made millions upon millions certain years. Well, and he's a great investor. Kevin Blanche says he's made 40% on that investment. Pay up, bucko. Okay? This is what this uh, petition's all about, folks. I hope you jump on. And uh, it doesn't matter. I'm writing up the petition. We got to get this, this baby going. And uh, I'm asking for three petitions. I'll write them up today. Don't worry if you don't write them up. So let's continue on here because this is very important that you notice that my YouTube channel is different from these people and the donations is all about the gamma spectrometer. I'm not asking for donations for the family or for the lawyer or anything like that. It's absolutely false. In fact, if you watch that video, I talked about how the family doesn't want to get involved with the law aspect of right now because of the medical condition that Palco is going through. So if you don't, Remember, I started this, or I should say, this gentleman here, Mike, or Mark, has started this. Um, I would suggest to people, if you feel that original furniture got took in for thirty thousand dollars or more, I don't know. That's what, what uh, connecting dots is. Twenty-five for the boat, and then there's five for the radar system. If you think that's right, keep watching Dana. Keep watching Kevin's videos. Keep watching Donald Jackson's videos. Keep watching all the pool player, pool player videos. And everybody who works together. You know, because I tell you what, if you feel that he and Took is right, then you watch the video. If you feel that he and Took is wrong, watch out the video. Show these people whenever you can go down. You know, maybe they shouldn't be out there being a piece.
people like that. Just for attention or for money or narcissism. Whatever. I don't know. Who cares? Like, I mean, I'm boycotting their videos from now on. And if anybody feels that that's the right move to, do it. Thanks for coming through. Hope to get you both back, man. Connecting. Okay, so the boycott has worked, folks. The, the views have dropped. But uh, you all got to know that they're not going to stop. This is very important. They think they can actually get away with it. So um, this death of the Pacific Ocean, many have noticed already how he hasn't taken a single Geiger counter reading of anything. Why is that? Because as if he does, his subscribers would see that everything is normal and that would be the end of it. So um, it's sad here. They want to promote the bullshit that no one wants to tell the truth. And in this latest thing here, uh, well, Kevin, your boat's sinking. Nibiru Magic hasn't been on uh, line for a month. Fukushima Hound, she's quiet as heck. And Miss Milky the Clown thinks she's making a comeback. No, honestly, I'm not making up this stuff. She actually thinks she's making a comeback. Folks, she really thinks she's making a comeback. She's in the twilight zone. Uh, twilight zone. Absolutely lost has no idea what's going on so the clown is back she doesn't seem to understand that we're not going to put up with anyone who promotes the fraud anyone that's behind us anyone who can't speak out the truth and what's really sad about miss milky the clown here she's totally living in there, the twilight zone honestly she's a person amongst us stacy lane 74 and anna beck and a few other people here who went and tried to trash my name here i'm the only guy on youtube who took his own money in 2011 and did a cross canada radiation tour uh, i bought my two geiger counters i i made a video i said folks here i'm buying my my two geiger counters i'm spending my own money if you want to help out there's a donation button uh, and not totally opposite from what these people did so not only did she not try to help me with my campaign but then she turned around and actually lied in comments many comments many uh, nuclear comments on Fukushima she went and said that I ran out of money I was scamming people and I had to uh, terminate my cross Canada tour because people stopped donating money absolute lie I went back and forth across Canada on my own cash I mentioned how the subscribers or I should say people started donating money yeah but I only got enough money barely to pay off the Geiger counters so um, absolute trash and we're not going to let her go um, the boycotts working her views are counting but she's still getting out there she thinks she's going to get away with this and yes I made one video asking you to go over there and give her a thumbs down look at that folks I mean if she can't see what's taking place then she's just out in the twilight zone so if you haven't seen this video here I'll leave a link because really I think if we all go down and give her a thumbs down, boycotting is not really working enough for her. She really needs to see it more physically right in her face. So go right to her YouTube channel. And I don't mean in her face, I mean on her view counts. God, I've got to be careful because these people are going to try to take any word I say and say, he's violent, he's violent. They're absolutely nutcases. I'm not promoting any violence towards anyone. In fact, I want to promote the truth. So I'm asking you to go out there and take your time and give them a nice big fat thumbs down. These people need to know what's going on, how we're not going to put up with their BS. And uh, it's only by all of us sticking together and giving them a nice big fat thumbs down will she finally get it through her head that everyone who's lying about me, lying about the death of the Pacific Ocean, the gig is up. You scammers and scam promoters are getting off YouTube because we're not going to accept any absolute liars. When there's actual real truthers like myself that are willing to put the time and their energy and their money and travel for two months across Canada and we have absolute liars, fake people like yourself come out and lie about me, don't even think you're staying on YouTube. You're so done. You're just too stupid to realize it, Miss Melky the Clown. So folks, the links are down below. Go show this lady that we're not putting up with this bullshit, okay? Doesn't matter if it's a lady or a man, anyone who comes out on YouTube and is going to lie about another person, let's put them where the... Let's put them in their spot, okay? And because we don't all want to leave comments, we can definitely give them a thumbs down, and these goofs will find out that we're not putting up with anyone who's promoting scams or lying or trying to trash, discredit, real hardworking people that have done thousands of videos on Fukushima. 
absolute lies. I've lost my first Connecting Dots one channel because I was nearing the 8,000 mark. My videos were getting about four or 5,000 views each time. YouTube took me down. She's not going to say anything about that. She's going to come out and lie. Absolute liar. Go give her a thumbs down, folks. Take care and stay out. Watch out for this petition.